Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kene, if you're new, welcome. Um, so today I'm gonna be doing a look, a video on this look I have right now. Um, I The original girl or inspiration, I'll post it here somewhere on this page. And yeah, I, I decided to freelance it because when I did it at first, it didn't come out the way I wanted it and it really ruined my girls night vlog. Um, and I'm not gonna post that vlog because I, I did it incorrectly, very wrong. Um, Cause you guys would just see me talking and you guys already see me talking here. So, you know, the whole point of it. Anyway, 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 anyway. Um, so, so yeah, um, let's get into this video. I do not want to keep you guys for long. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start out with the Pink Honey Honey Glue Super Super Hold. It's, um, I saw it on Instagram and, oh, and by the way, I'm using one of their uh, eyebrow spoolies and I'm going to spray it with this Luminous Setting Spray from Morphe. I'm going to swirl it in, swirl it in there. I saw it on Instagram and you know, I've been wanting to like get that bushy eyebrow look. Um, I really like, you know, fallen for that. And I saw this one of, one of many makeup artists that I follow, she, she uses it. And I was like, yo, her makeup is bomb. I'm gonna drop a pic of, um, of who she is in a second but I was like, yo, her makeup is bomb and her eyebrows like how do they stay like that because you know what bushy eyebrows like oh that's pretty clean you know with bushy eyebrows I, I feel like they don't stay put like you gotta you gotta do magic for them to stay put I did try to use um I think it was the Neutrogena Clear Spray. I tried to use that. And that broke me the hell out. So I was like, no. I was like, nah. I'm not doing it again. Now I'm going in with my Alme Eyeliner in. I think this is dark brown. I can't, yes. Aha. No, no, no. It's black brown. There you go. I don't usually use this um this product for brows i usually use like uh, my wet and wild what is it called retractable i think it's i got it wet and wild um mega last retractable um eyeliner that was my, that, that, that is my go-to. That's still my damn go-to till this day. But I think they discontinued it because I can't find that, I can't find it anywhere. Not online, if it's online, it's out of stock or, or whatnot. So that was, that was annoying. I can't find it at Rite Aid where I usually get it at. I can't find it at any of the drug stores that I usually go to to get it. That's crazy. I'm gonna go do the other brow and um, be back. Okay, so brows are done with, you know. They look a little a little thick right now, but it's okay. They'll come together. Um, Now I'm gonna put my base for my eyeshadow and I use the P. Louise eyeshadow. <laughs> P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 5. They have darker colors, but I really wanted something, like I didn't want it to match my skin tone too much because the whole point is for the color payoff, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna put just a little bit on the back of my hand here. I need one of those, um, like those artists, I don't know what these things are called. I don't, I don't know what to call them. If you know the name, drop it in the comments, but one of those art artists like palettes and that go to the back of their hand so your hand don't be looking crazy when you're done with your makeup because my hand always looks crazy when I'm done with my makeup, especially with color. 
I'm taking this P. Louise, I think it's um, the base brush. I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna drop it in the um, description box. Um, and I'm gonna use that, swipe it on both sides, on the back of my hand. I don't know if you guys can see, if you guys can see it. And I'm just gonna carve out my brows and then set the, set the base for the rest of my face. Whoa, hold up, not the rest of my face, the rest of my eyes. Okay, so I've set the base for both lids. I am now gonna go into my Morphe. Did I start? No, actually, I'm lying. I'm gonna go into the Makeup Shack uh, Rainforest palette, and I am going to be using. What brush do I use today? I'm gonna be using this Morphe E. 18 and I'm gonna go ahead into this I'm gonna go ahead into this blue right here um, into my crease and see you know y'all see what I create Ugh. one thing about setting both eyes at both times is that this thing creases you gotta go back in and tap it off again Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead. Now that that's done, I'm just gonna wipe off the excess blue on here because I have to use the same brush to go and make the other side of the shadow. I went ahead and did this other eye as well because I don't have time for creasing. That took a long time to say. Like, unnecessary long time to say. This is a look I've been wanting to do for a while. And I finally got around doing it. I was supposed to do it early this year and post it, but not the way I was feeling. Mm -mm. Now I'm taking this BH Cosmetics brush in number three, and I'm gonna dip it into this green right here in the Greenforest palette. I didn't feel like um, I didn't feel like lifting the palette each time I wanted to, you know, show a new color. So it's just gonna pop up on my screen. Y'all cool with that? This palette is amazing. I don't actually don't remember why I bought it to be honest. I, did, I don't remember why I bought it at first, but this palette is the ish. I think, I think when Morphe, I think what they did when, when the James Charles palette came out, they, I believe for a moment they stopped selling the, um, what is this palette called? The I have it in front of me. 35B. They stopped selling that that baby for a little bit. I don't know if it's back on their site, but so I was like, I need a new rainbow palette. And I love the colors I was in this, so I was like, I'm gonna get it. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow just to, you know, make it. And don't worry, it looks crazy now, it's gonna look amazing later. To diffuse the pink, I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I used to diffuse the, um, the balloon. And I'm gonna go into my James Charles palette. I'm gonna pick out this opaque pink. I'm gonna dip and dab it back into that magenta to make sure that that pink isn't too chalky. And I'm gonna slowly swirl because the way this thing looked on the night of my girl's night, I was not, I was not happy because I felt like the pink was came out chalky. I don't know if it was because of me or my blending, I'm not sure, but I was not happy that night with my makeup look. Hence why I didn't film it. This is coming out way better than I expect. Ah, look at that color payoff, wow. Okay, so now that I'm done diffusing the colors and stuff, I'm gonna go back in with this dark navy blue. Oh, and I'm using a Morphe E33. Going back in with this dark navy blue to deepen the horizon. <laughs> I'm so funny. There's a lot that's happening with my country right now and it just really it really saddens my heart um there's a movement going on right now and it's called and sars now sars is a special tax force that it, that was created to um combat robbery and what we call 419s, what y'all call, why did I just do Is what y'all call scamming, things like that. But they've done nothing but exploit our people and our people are tired. I'm gonna go back in with the E33. I'm gonna dip back into this magenta color and I'm gonna go over my pink. Gonna actually dip the pink in with a little bit of this black to make sure I get that deep color that I want. One thing I don't understand about people who exploit others, don't you think, don't you think that it's gonna backfire on backfire on you one day like don't you know that people are gonna eventually get tired of the bullshit and come for you that's why there's a saying that i kind of grew up on evil makes no sense because it doesn't you live for now you exploit people for now but you don't think about the future that may lay ahead and i feel like evil doers that's all they do. They just think for the now, and that's not smart. I'm gonna go back in with the BH Cosmetics brush in number three, and I'm gonna dip back into this blue here in the same Rainforest palette and go back over just to diffuse a little bit of that dark navy blue that I just put there. I want to make sure this look is as seamless as possible. I'm going to use the same BH number three and diffuse out. Oh, I have to switch palettes. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the P. Louise Rumor Base. Um, and the bleh. P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor Zero. And I'm gonna use this to cut the crease. I added my own little twist to this um, look. I don't know if I explained that earlier. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M224 to do so. 
One thing I should have done, I should have sharpened this brush. I call it sharpening, I don't know what the actual word or the name of the process is, but I should have sharpened this brush, but it's fine. So we're gonna go over it with the liner anyway, so it doesn't need to be, you know, as precise or as crisp. So I think I'm gonna do like, yeah, okay. Y'all see, y'all see. Now I'm gonna go with the peaches and cream glitter base. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand here. Can you guys see that? Oh my god! I forgot to bring my flat brush. One second. Whatever, let's just rock with it. Um, I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics brush in the number 12. I think I got this from my friend. I just need to return it to her, to be honest. Sorry, Lynn. I'm gonna pack it all over my, my lid. Well, all over where I cut my crease, even though the crease kind of messed up, if you guys could see, but it's fine because like I said, we're going over it with what is this thing called? Glitter. I'm gonna use this glitter from Peaches and Cream, the Hocus Pocus. I'm gonna put that on first. And I'm using a Morphe, oh, this is from the beginner set. So it doesn't have a number. I think they discontinued that beginner set. That's why I didn't like this look. Shouldn't have put focus focus. Whatever. I'm gonna go in with Mermai's. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go back in with the BH Cosmetics in the number 12. Well, BH Cosmetics brush in the number 12. And hit that over put the uh, glitter base over my lid again. Go back in with this shade from P. Reviews. It's called Mermai's. I love this shade with passion up. Oh. When mixed with Hocus Pocus, it looks amazing. Y'all see that? So beautiful. And now I'm gonna go on with the NYX Vivid Lights in the color Sapphire, Vivid Sapphire. Hopefully this thing is not, okay, I was about to say, hopefully it is not dried out. I haven't used them in a very long time. I'm just gonna carve out that, that crease. Now this is where you're gonna need that precision. I'm gonna go back in with this P. Louise Rumi Base Zero. I already have it in the back of my hand. Using my Morphe 224 and just put, I'm not really carving out the under eye, the, not the under eye, but like underneath um, where I put the, the liner. I'm just kind of, kind of making the, a lazy shape. Not even a shape, just zeroing out the base. There you go. That's what it's called. Or blanking underneath. Um, my cut crease because I plan to put some eyeshadow underneath. Now using that this Morphe E18, I'm going to go into this blue here in the Rainforest palette and I'm gonna start to make my my ombre. Then I'm gonna take the BH Cosmetics number three and dip into that green. And this is gonna look very messy at first, which is fine. Just bear with me. Just trust me. 
Would you trust me with your life? Probably not. Don't trust me with your life. I'm still on a doctor. Use that same brush. Go in with the yellow, tap a little off. Just to get that little, little bit of white right there. Make sure everything is covered. I did a good job with this. And I made this up on the fly. Like I was like, I did not like how my makeup looked over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Now taking my Morphe E33 again, I'm gonna go back into that dark old navy. I call it dark old navy color. And then I'm just gonna darken that blue. Make sure that is diffused. Using this the brush to diffuse a lot more, more of that blue to make sure it's not too harsh. Then I'm gonna line the bottom of the cut crease again. Oh my god! Cut crease again with the sapphire, vivid sapphire by by Inmyak. You know what I need? I need one of those water activating, one of those water activating um, liners in this shade. It looks amazing. I don't know if I like it in blue. Y'all like it? Let me try it in pink. Let me see how it is in pink. Ooh, I'm about to look colorful. Do you seem like they're brand new? Oh yes, pink it is, pink it is, yep. Y'all see that? I'm gonna do the rest of my face and the other eye. Be right back. I quickly wanna show you guys how I'm gonna do this under eye. Yeah, it's called, it's called an under eye. Oh, I don't know. Actually, I have to show you on the other eye. Just pull down. By the way, I'm using the Morphe M408 flat, flat shader brush. Making sure I get that pink, you know, everywhere. I really like this look, you know. Now I'm taking the Morphe M. M506. <laughs> but, oh wait, it's upside down, okay. Presentation time. <laughs> it's so annoying when you have to switch between palettes. Whatever. Anyway, I have to go into my James Charles palette, dip into that, the same pattern I used to, to flush out the pink on my lid. I'm doing that same technique with my under eye. I'm actually gearing more towards the hot pink, to be honest. To flush it out. Now I'm gonna go in with highlighter. I'm doing my Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume One. I'm gonna take this Morphe Three. Wow, brush bended. Anyway, I'm gonna take this Morphe Three Ten and dip in here. Like I said in my last video, I'm gonna get a new one because. My favorite highlighter poke out. I usually smile when I do this. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna show you guys a new technique I actually learned from my friend Honeywell once I buy the brush that she uses from e.l.f. It it just makes like I hate it when highlighter just like sits on skin and I feel like it's because of the brush and the technique that I've been using. And I don't like it. 
I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose here. And down the bridge as well. Now I'm gonna start with my lips. Um, I'm gonna take my NYX Butter Gloss in Raspberry Palabola. And then I'm gonna take this, uh, all, I can't talk, damn. I'm gonna take this Ulta Beauty Lip Pumping Transforming Top Coat in the color, what color is this? Utopia, it's like this purplish little whatever. And I'm gonna do my lips. I don't add too much of the raspberry because I just want a tint of that pink, you know? Then I'm gonna, oh, I forgot my lip glass. I'll be right back. Now to continue with lips. Ooh, oh, dang. That was a lot of exercise. Woo! Oh, the thing is strong. Y'all see it? I like a tiny. <laughs> this look is colorful. Oh my god! And I have a new one. I got this from the dollar store. Can you imagine? Okay, so this is the final look. Let me know if you guys like it. It did take a long time to do this look, not gonna roll. Like, this video is probably gonna take a long time to edit, but it's worth it, right? <laughs> I got these lashes. These lashes I have on, they're from Lash Barb Cosmetics in the style, wait. They're in the style Mini Brats. Um, they're really thick. These are like the most dramatic lashes I have in my entire like connect uh, collection. Um, yeah, I, I got these, I got these like early on in the year when I was trying like trying out new companies to buy from. I actually need to go and restock in lashes, you know, find new companies to choose from and stuff like that. But yeah, this is the final look, y'all. <laughs> you guys should have seen the way it looked on girls' night. Like, it was completely different. I hated it. Oh, my God. I hated it. So, I added my little twist to it. It doesn't look like the girl that um, I got inspired by. But it still fits me. I, you know, I like, I like freelancing makeup at times. Like, you know, just go and just create. Just whatever comes out, comes out. And hopefully, you love it. So... Yeah, this is the end of my video. Stay tuned on my channel for, I believe I'm gonna do a pumpkin black smoky eye type of thing. I haven't done it in a while. So I'll be excited for that. It'll be just in time for Halloween. I do not celebrate Halloween, but it just matches the theme. So I'm just gonna do it for you guys. So this is the end of my video. So I will see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love you all. Have a great night.